My name is Bonnie Dubbin Askowitz. I'm from Miami, Florida. I am honored to have my quilt, It's a Keepa, in Sacred Threads. I'm doubly honored because it's going to go traveling on the travel exhibit. It's a Keepa, the quilt, is an outgrowth of my work making Keepote for women. Keepote is the plural for kippa, which is a Hebrew word for the skull cap that observant Jewish men wear when, um, when they are, well, either all the time or when they're at a religious ceremony. Um, women also want to show reverence to God. And so I discovered that there was a need and a desire for women's keypot. I started making them. And what I do is I take salvi, which is a, a substance that dissolves in water, and I, I use all kinds of things, uh, threads and ribbons and sequins and uh, little bits of wool or silk or wh whatever the spirit moves me to use. And I make six inch circles, which I um, use lots and lots of thread. And then um, once I'm happy with it, it could be, uh, there might be a design or there might not be. It might be just totally organic. Um, I uh, dissolve the salvi and I put it on a styrofoam head so that it takes the curvature for a person's head. Anyway, while doing these and using all of these different parts, that it, to me it means the uh, diversity of the Jewish people. Uh, no matter whether they're, uh, what the ideology or what the color or where they're from, they're still one people. Um, so uh, I, what I decided to do is to show my own reverence and by doing it in a quilt. And so what I did, of course, I left the circles flat, and I made lots of circles. I quilted it to a background of metallic silk and uh, bound it and put the sleeve on, and, and I hung it in my house. Um, a friend of mine looked at it, and he said in a very exaggerated New England accent, it's a keeper. So I knew that that was the perfect name. After that, my granddaughter, who was five, uh, she saw it and she said, Mima, look at all the keepahs. And when she said that, I knew that it was right. 